last time we had a let's say pulling teeth would be evening creative last time could have been could have been uh, <laughs> oh, drawing teeth trying to uh, make a sprite on the screen by hand absolute pain up the backside so um, Microman's been doing a lot of um, how can I put it a lot of research he's like my researcher my personal researcher and he found this which is a it's called Speeb Spriter it's in my discord um, the URL to the the GitHub and it allows you to create sprites so there's one of them oh it keeps going over there there's another one and then you can export them as binary files <laughs> nice alright mate I knew you'd fall asleep <laughs> but now you can export binary files and then use those binary files inside your program but he's also found something else just recently and it's this so if you ignore that bit at the moment it's a set of libraries for the BBC so we've got a constants file so he's taken this set of library files from uh, where was it from where is it where is it where is it there it is from here so I'll put the link in chat if I can find it again there it is and this is all written in BeavisAssembler so it's all written in BeavisAssembler now I was going to convert it <laughs> on string but Mr. Microman has already done it he's already done it he spent the last two days doing it but there was an issue with it so where's his GitHub? There it is. So this is his GitHub. I'll put that in chat as well. But there is a problem with the code in his GitHub file, and what I'm try what I've been trying to do is um, uh, fix the code. So let me just run through what there is so there's a constants file so these are constants that are users throughout the um, the libraries so we've got the standard ROM functions start the character set which I didn't know started at C1000 so you learn some every day and but I knew 7000 was available for zero page mapping so he's got some zero page mappings going on he's got some macros for the keyboard which needs to be formatted. Let me format this because my OCD is going bonkers. There we go. That's better. So my OCD was going bonkers. So that's okay. And then we've got some mac normal macros and we'll run through them in a minute. We've got some output macros. Now, I don't know what these are. Oh, my OCD, come on. There we go. <laughs> what? Oh, I can't have that. Right.
Oh, I'll do them in a bit. But there are, so there's um, a keyboard macros that allows you to read the keyboard in both modes. There's some generic macros um, which allow you to add. So we've got add 8-bit, subtract 8-bit. Then we've got complement. So one's complement. Two's complement, which is negative. Um, add six. Add sixteen. No. Copy. Yeah, copy six. Sixteen-bit number. Copy a sixteen-bit number to X. That's add sixteen. But that's immediate sixteen. Ah, oh, and we need to make these names a bit more. Add immediate 16, add address, okay. Add memory. Well, isn't that what that one does? That's the same. Oh, right. and then we've got subtracts, and then we've got um, a shifting function. So this logically shift left is timesing by. So we should, could do a um, divide one as well. Then we've got some sprite macros. Now this is where we're going to try and we're going to try and use. Um, so we've got a which initialize this macro initializes a mac uh, a sprite slot by pointing it to where the sprite data is and stuff like that. Then we've got render. Sp Render sprite, which I think goes through all the slots and renders them on the screen. Draw allows you to draw sprite. Oh yeah, that put that literally copies where the, your sprite slot into the temporary locations before it does the render. Why is he remmed out render? Hmm. I would. Hang on. This is that a macro? No. Okay. And then we've got the true render sprite. So that's the whole lot. That runs through the whole lot. And then we've got render sprite, which actually performs the place in the sprite on the screen. Now I was reading this because um, my commands only just. Uh, put it on GitHub and looking at the conversions, but it didn't work. It didn't work. We got, we got um, something like this. Got something like this. Now, apparently there's supposed to be some sprites on there and there wasn't. So I've been racking my brains trying to figure out what it is. And it was a, small mistake in the conversion that the fill was in the wrong way around so he'd got z fill zero with with that when in fact it's fill that with zero and this is this is what happens so we've got our test program here there you go and there's one sprite and then the other one's in the top corner, but can you see here? It's not quite rendering in. But as you go down the screen, it does. So I presume that's something to do. Look, it's doing it there as well. So let's just go. Look, it's not showing all of it. So I'm just wondering if it's to do with the raster, the BBC equivalent of the raster. I don't know. We'll find out. But this is a library that we can we can use, and it's got other things like um, it's got drawing functions, so you can plot, unplot, draw a circle. That's why you got to draw a circle. There's a line function in here somewhere. Draw a line, and these are the parameters that you put in. So it's well documented. 
and my command has done a really good job at uh, converting it. So I thought we could use it to try and see if we can uh, get some sprites on some scr on a screen and see if we can control them using the macros. Ladies and gentlemen, 6502 kebab has entered the chat. <laughs> It looks rastery, not re It's... I don't know. I'm, I mean, I... I don't know if it's because... I don't... I don't know if it's because it's constantly taken in and taken out. Oh, it's not really kebab. One thing I have forgot is to put my headphones in. Because I didn't hear that, because I turned it down. Try it again, mate. I should hear it now. Oi, John, pay attention to chat. Yeah, that's better. I can hear you now. It looks like it's the same. But the one that's moving is not suffering from the one that I'm moving. Or I should say the the one I'm moving is not suffering the same fate. Yeah. But this is what we're going to try and do, right? We're going to see if we can use these macros. But drawn before or after the raster. Yeah. So I'm going to see if we can... If we can use these these macros to draw these fellas. So I know I've got to make them the same size. Where's the other one? There we go. Because they're both two different sizes. But then again, I think the sprite has... Yeah, it's got different different widths. So we can do the different widths. So it's just a case of us trying to mimic what we've got, what's here. So it's this bit here. I don't mind, I'm, I'm, I'm willing to try this out. So we've got two sprites. Which I used, <laughs> I used last week. I think this is the one we drew. And then this is another one that I was messing around with to see if I could do it. So what we'll do is we'll export these sprites. So that, I think, is 13 by 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah. So sprite 1 is 13 by 14. Let me get my pad out. So green shit 13. So he's 13 by 14. And then this one, I think, is 17 by 19. Right, so let's see if we can, let's see if we can export this lot and see what it looks like. Right, what we got here? Sprite layout, row majority, good for character block alignment. 
Hmm. Hang on. Let's see what that means. Because you can put some lines on here. So, block dividers. Every character. Ooh, look at that. One. So that's a character. We may have to add one there. Uh, da, 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 every... So that's this is so this is one two three four five six seven eight nine character nine characters wide wow that's gonna be huge that is gonna be massive that's gonna be one big old sprite that is so as you can see there's thicker lines there I don't know if you can see that yeah you can. So this is one character here, eight rows by two columns. Another character, another, because this is mode two. Remember, we only get two pixels per byte. Yeah, level boss size. So let's see, let's see if we can, let's export this and see what mess we're gonna get is that. So what's export settings? Nah, not gonna do that. Right, export to the Beeb. Uh, right, export sprites at their defined size. Export transpand pixels at zero. Export header information of named sprites. Well, okay. Now right, let's see what happens. So if I do that, so it's going to do a binary file. So. Let's put this in where I've got it, which is in here. So we're going to put, um, sh we'll call it ships. Right, so we've got a new, there we go, binary file. Hex editor. So there we go, we've got a binary file with everything in it. But question is, let's see if we can correspond. So let's say the first one is the green ship. So we've got a load of zeros. So hopefully that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Hmm. Unless it's going down. Well, no, it can't be. It'll be interesting to find out what this. Uh... Oh, I wonder if it's do. Oh, hang on. I wonder if it's doing it by one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That could be those two there. And then... No, these two. 1, 1, 1, 1. So that's those two. And then OC, OC. Right, okay, so it's drawing that way like that and then we right okay so I think we've got that sorted so we just got to figure out how, how to put these in so let's make a copy of that and put it in here oh not there down here oh it won't do it no rename it first job Right, let's get that down here. So, this is ours. So, we'll, we'll, we will, we'll leave that in, because we're nicking it anyway. Right, so that's mode two.
Right. So. So this is drawing a line. So we're not going to draw a line. Don't want to do that. Don't want to do a horizontal line. And we don't want to do a circle. This is the bit. So get sprite slot. So we need to understand what get sprite slot does. So it's in sprites. We'll split it. Get it out of that. Right, get sprite slot. What does sprite slot do? Right, so it says get next available sprite slot. R7 is temporary storage for X, returns X and Z. Index into the sprite object. So FF if full, Z. Oh, if the sprite slot is free, so that's what Z, 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 zero, isn't it? So that's the flag zero and then not zero if no more sprite slots. So what are we doing? So we get in another sprite slot and we are so store it in zero, load that. So X. X is the one. X is the one. So X is our... Right, so the first sprite is... We wrote it down, 13 by 14. So I'm going to use decimal numbers. 13 across by 14 down. So, sprite Y, what's sprite Y? Sprite Y. So X is the X position, Y is the Y position. Okay. So, 10 Y, 0 X. So we'll make it 10 and 10. Right. So that should be, so sprite graphic. That is where our data is. So we are going to rem that out. And we are going to ink. It's ink bin, isn't it? Is it ink bin? Oh, forgotten. Import binary, that's the one. So we should have a ship. There it is. Oh, there was a ship info in there. Nice. Oh, okay. Oh, it tells us where all they are. Nice. So we're doing this one. So in being ships, so hopefully we're just going to look at the first one. Right, so we're going to rem, we're going to, we'll copy that. And paste it there. So we're going to have two things on the screen. Let's see if my understanding is right. Oh. <laughs> ah. Oh, 13 by 14. It's not 13 by 14, is it? It's not. It's this. Right, width is 6th, height is E. Oh, that's where I got went wrong. Width is 6. Oh, no, that's... No. E. It's not 13 by 14. Right, let's try it again.
Well, we're getting there. Definitely getting there. That's the top. Okay, so how's it drawing the sprite? Render sprite, here we go. Check height, if we've finished. The, how does their sprite work? Oh, okay. Okay. That, oh, so they've got a different routine. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So they're going eight down, but two bytes across. R2 and R3 is where the data is. Get sprite data or it. So we're looking at loop one. What's happening with loop one? Oh no, they're changing R6. Right, so we start off, where's Y? So that's the pixel row. So SL is the pixel row. see it need to understand how because we're going to look like we're going to have to modify this code to make it work with that sprite let's get it out of the thing so that's the top where's sprite -er? So that's the top there. So that bit there is there. So, is that transposed? Right, so bytes. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then one, one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, six by 14. So it's six wide by 14 tall. Let's just make sure we got the numbers right. Six wide, 14 tall. Yeah, that's what I'm, that's what I'm thinking. That's... Oi, John, pay attention to chat. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking is it's, it's, it's writing down, isn't it? Instead of writing across, which I think is See that we've exported the data like that. 
but it's But it's, yeah, it's, yes, it's definitely, um, I mean, the ship's there, you can just about see it, but because that is, let's get this back on screen, that is underneath that, so it's literally gone down, and then it started there, and then it's done that. Right, so we need to change the way this works if we want to get it to work with Spriter. Right, okay. So we need to change the way this works. Hey, Microman. Um, uh, that's a good point. Let's have a look. Ex I mean, what's this export settings? Sprite layout, row majority. Should we try the column majority? Let's try that, column majority. Right, so we'll do this. We'll do this one. So, ships. Uh, we'll just do call, call ships, call. Oh, export to Beeb. It didn't ask me, did it? Right, so we'll do that. Uh, we'll leave the rest of it the same. We'll click OK. Export to Beeb. Right. So if if um, our thinking is right, hey, Microman. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Woohoo! <laughs> Look at that. Nicey, nicey, nicey. <laughs> Oi, John, pay attention I knew that, to chat. I knew that was coming. <laughs> yes, mate. Oh, dear. You're running away with this. There you go. Oh. There you go. That should do it. That's it. Right. So, my, while Microman's on, Microman, I got it working. I figured out what the problem was. I talk about it at the start of the stream. But I've mucked about with your code. So, but I cloned your repo. So if I commit this, I'll have to do a pull request. Yeah. So we'll 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 discuss later. Right. So that means that we should be able to get the other sprite on the screen. So if this is the sprite graphic then <laughs> I didn't say it like that you made me sound like <laughs> I didn't say it like that I just said my LCD was going into overdrive. Right, where's that ship's info before I get myself in a in a worse mess? Right, there it is. 
Right, so... <laughs> right, so width is 6, right, so that's the same. So the offset now is 62. So the blue one is 62. So if we go into ships... Right, I'm going to... I'm going to change this to green, no, uh, SPR green ship, and then I'm going to do dot label SPR blue ship equals SPR green ship plus 62. So hopefully that will get us to the point of the blue ship. So let's grab that. Let's go back up here. So we're grabbing the slot. We're telling it what it is. And it's that. Right. So. Yeah. Next one is the blue ship. So it's 8 by 13. So 8 one three width is eight height is 13 okay and then we'll grab that and we'll put that there and this time we'll say blue ship oi John pay attention to chat yeah that's right mate Remember, these numbers are in hex, yeah? So this is hex 13, that number, yeah? Remember with the beeb, they use the ampersand. If You're not getting AMK points for that one. No, I said I was working in decimal. <laughs> oh, dear. There you are. I'll... I'll, I'll... Is that better? Yes, yes, okay, okay. Right, so we should now have two sprites on the screen. Come on, come on, blue. Oh, look at that. <laughs> right now we understand how these sprite thingies work we should be able to um, get them on the screen and not use those moving functions so what is the sprite doing for this Right, where's my, where's the uh, macros? So STX16, what's that? So that is put in. Okay, so that's putting the value in the address of the array. So sprite image there. Okay, and then it's doing sprite logic, which is the address of the routine to move the sprite. Okay. So that is saying logic test one. All right, so. See, so I've. 
So you set up the sprite slot and then you tell it what is the thing that's going to make it move. Okay. Okay. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to try and see if we can get... I mean, it says here, wait for horizontal blank line. Wait for horizontal blank. Is that meant to be 19? Is that actually 19? Uh, where's the advanced user guide? Right. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Where's the Ozbike functions? Oh, where's the Ozbike? Let's go. Da -da 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 -da. I should know these pages. Um, Yeah, that'll do. 19. Well, it ain't that. 1, 9, 16, 17, 18. So we're 1, 3, waiting for V-Sync. This forces the machine to wait until the start of the next frame of the display. This occurs 50 times a second. Um, it main use is to help produce flicker free animation. Well, that ain't helping. So it waits for the frame and then renders the sprite and then goes back through. Well, clearly that ain't working. Anyway, so what we're going to do the green ship is going to be us. So we're going to send in. Uh, green green ship controls there we go so we're going to hijack this and we'll put it here So, read the keyboard, 9D, that's the space, I do believe. Oh. Da -da -da. In key, find next, there we go. So space is 9D, so let's say we want to um, we want to A and D. So A is A is B E. Right, B E. Read the keyboard. Branch if equal to skip. Right, so if we do read it, load the sprite x comma x. Um, we are going to minus minus one. Store it, but we're not going to do that. Okay, so skip. So we'll do the same thing again. 
We'll have another skip in there. This time we are going to use D. C, D. Read the keyboard, branch, skip. So this time we're going to add. And store it there. So this is the D key for right. And then we return. Right, so um, we are going to, let's say, um, how many rows down is mode two? Oh, come on, John. He was talking about it last week. It's three. Ugh. He was talking about it last week. Do, do, do. I can't remember what it was. Was it in there? No, it's not that. Uh, it must have been in there. And bit mapping. Right, so Mo2 is 256 deep. Mo2, no. Yeah, 256 deep. So if we put if we put the Y at 200 and X at 160, so that's going to be A0, isn't it? A0. That should slap it right smack in the middle of the bottom which it hasn't right so we didn't put it in the right place on X 200 goes in Y AO goes in X hmm Right x coordinate in pixels. So it didn't take any notice of. Oh! Ha! There we go. But it's not taken any notice. Oh, it did then. But initialization routine's not doing it. Oh, that stops there. Right. So we've got a ship that's moving using this code. We just didn't initialize correctly. Why did that not initialize right? Now, it's still not initialized right because it's put it at zero, x is zero. Um, Let's try something here. Try 100. Let's see if it, uh, it's because it can't, doesn't like the number. Right, okay. So 100 is there. Right, so 150. Okay. Well, 
Right, okay. I bet it's to do I bet it's to do something with that um and you know in the macro. Uh where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where we do this Right. Right, let's see. Yeah. So if that's 150. Mode 2. Yeah, 160. So the middle is 80, isn't it? Right, so... Let's do um, 80. Right. So what we need to do here is we need now to stop the sprite going off the screen. So um, what we need to do is compare it. So let's see. If we have a 10 pixel buffer either side, so 10, uh, branch if carry uh, branch if carry clear is less than, or we'll say skip. So subtract one, is it 10, skip, so we don't update it. And this one will do the same thing, so we'll do Compare with uh, 160, 150, branch of carry set, skip. So it doesn't set the sprite. Right, so we should have a blue, uh, green sprite in the middle of the screen that can't then go off. There we go. Yep. Yeah. Ooh, right. So the sprite is not okay. So we need to add some more. So one forty. There we go. So that can't go there. And it can't go lower than that. Right. Right, I think... I think we've got the workings of... It's the starting of something... Whoa. <laughs> I don't know why it's doing that. Just there where my mouse is, isn't it? Oh no, it's moving. It's gone up here now. It's hitting the raster. Right. So do you think, do you think this, um, this thing here, wait for the horizontal blank is working? Oops. It's always in the same place, yeah. Yeah. I don't know how we'd overcome how would we overcome that? If you wait twice, 
spot like that. Okay. Oh dear. Oh dear. What happens if we don't? Oh, I see what it means by the flicker. If you change the background colour between drawers, oh, my command. We'll see you in a bit. I'll have to talk to you about getting this back into your repo, yeah? The other issue is the OS is running on the interrupts, which is eating your CPU. Yeah. I don't know if we could write this quicker. Right, see you later. Um, I don't know if we could write this any quicker. Because I was looking at, um, what was it, Kevin? What's his name? Uh, what's his name? What's his name? Let's see if we can find it. I have so much junk on this machine, it's unreal. Here we go. Kevin Edwards. Because he's... Um, He's, he he wrote the gap this the Galag Galaga force or Gala force, but he doesn't suffer from the. Oh, it'd be interesting to see how he's done it. Uh, loader, binary source. I mean, he does. Basically, a load of stores, and that's it. But I haven't. Figured out. I haven't figured out what his um, his route is. Um, down. I 
I haven't figured out. Yeah. His, his sprites are not overlapping. Yeah, he's doing EOs. Oh, Keegan, Edwards. No, not Kevin Keegan. He's doing EOs, so they overlap. Um, I just don't know. Right, this is the... Right, is this... This must be the start. But I've not figured out where... Oh. Initialize score. I just don't... Not sure where his uh, game loop is. I mean, it says the game loop there, but... I'm not sure. Because I was trying to figure out how he's... Oh, here we go. Main loop. So he's clearing the intro. So where's he setting it? Oh, he's setting it up here. Oh, then he clears it. So he must be setting it somewhere down here. Alright, let's see if we can do something about this. Um, yeah. Let's set the intro, let's stop it. Swap the order of sprites. Draw green second, okay. So that means we need to do that then. Define them differently. Right, so we're defining blue first, then green second. Maybe we don't go this far up. Yeah, it's moved it to the top. How do I kill the OS? How? <laughs> With fire. <laughs> Yeah, I watched a video where this bloke was talking about it, but he didn't put a code out there. So it's all right talking about it, but you can't see it. Um, I'll have to look into it. I'll have to look into it. But you're right, JSR render sprites. That's basically just going through them, yeah, here we go. Set this sprite as drawn. Draw da, 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 falls through the render sprite. Okay. Yeah, but I'm just really pleased that we've got we've got them on. Right. So what I need to do is I'm gonna I'm gonna do a blue control ship controller. Uh, 
but it's not going to be controlled by keyboard it's just going to be controlled it's just going to go backwards and forwards so we're going to subtract so we're going to test oh come here right so LDA that uh, right S compare so um, Compare with, um, we'll do 140 to start with, and if it, that means it's got to 140, we're now going down. So we could be clever. We could be clever. So branch of carry clear to um, no um, let's be clever right load that <laughs> now we're gonna we're gonna try we're gonna be trying to be clever um so this is um self modified code um clc sec and then this can be self modified code sbc um ADC SBC right so we load we're gonna start with um, we're gonna start with uh, da, 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 going left yeah left so compare with 10 branch of carry with um, update x so this is updating x So that means if it's hit 10, we need to load self modifying code CLC EOR with a number, store it in SMC. Right, so let's do some quick calculations here. Instruction set. Right, CLC is eighteen one eight. SEC is. T -t 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 38 that's going to be 20 isn't it that's going to be 20 right so hex 1 8 bitwise exclusive or with 20 equals 38 exclusive or with 20 should put it back to 1 8 yes it does right so that's what it is 
So 20. So that's going to flip the um, SEC and CLC. And then we're going to do the same thing again for self-modifying code ADC um, EOR dollar and store it SMC ADC right so we are looking for immediate 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 so um, ADC immediate so ADC immediate is 69. SBC immediate is E9. Ooh. Okay. So 69 exclusive or with E9 equals 80. Right, so that's going to be exclusive ord with 80. So let's try that. 69 exclusive or 80 should equal E9. Yeah, exclusive or 80 should take us back to 69. Yes, it does. Right. So that is now changing the way this routine works. Yeah. So we're going to load it in. It's going to work. It's going to do delete it's going to minus one off it first until it hits 10 if it's greater than 10 it's good just going to update this but if it's less than 10 yeah then it's going to do this it's going to convert it into ads and then we're going to bypass we're going to bypass to skip because we don't want it to update this right so next thing next thing so if it's greater than t so okay if it's less than If it's greater than I'm going to come here but we need to check we need to check so we've got to change the way the logic works so the best thing I'm going to do is put another temporary there uh, swap uh, some function and we'll do this here compare it with 140 branch it carry clear so it's branch if less than to update. Yeah, so if it's less than, oh, but it's going to fail here. Right. If it's greater than, if it's greater than, then we're going to swap the sum function. That means it's in add mode, it's gone too far, so we're going to start making it do uh, subtract mode. If it's less than 140, then we test for 10. If it's greater than 10, then we'll do that. If not, then that should work. Greater than ten, uh, greater than we swap over. Less than, check for ten. If it's greater than ten, then we update x. If it's less than ten, then we do the swap over. Right. That. That should work. So this is blue shit. So 
So we'll put that there. And we are going to have it at the top. So let's drop it down. Uh, la, 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 la. So that's 20, 32 down, isn't it? Right, we'll do 40 to be safe. And we'll put we'll start this off in the center of the screen. So we'll start that off at 80. Right. So that means that the blue ship should just do that across the screen. And we still have control of the green one. There we go. Is that going? Yeah, it's going further than I thought. So yeah, so um, right. So we got a one-on-one. -on -one. Hey, Photon. Ooh, what's this? Right, okay. I will make a bookmark of that and I'll watch that. I'll watch that and see if I can do that. Right, so we have... some sort of shooter. Oh, you've put it in Discord as well. Cheers, mate. Now, what can we do here? So the sprites, how many slots has he got? Um, all oh, right, so we've got we got enough for eight sprites. So um, right, so let's see. Um, I did, mate, but I I I I, I think because of the difference between kick and what you are using, I presume it's Acme. I think the temporary, vet, the temporary um, jumps, I think I got them wrong because all I, I just got a garbled mess. But this has got a draw, this has got a draw function in it. Um, this one. Um, let me, let me just run the original one. You know what, this has got a draw function in it. And what it's doing, it, apparently it's only drawing from there to there. And then it's it's flipping the locations to do the other three. So it's only drawing that. But it's, mir it's mirroring um, the Y on this side. Mirroring X and Y and mirroring X I think it is I think that's how it's doing it I haven't uh, understood the code yet I'm just trying to figure out how to get sprites on the screen at the moment so this this library allows you to do eight sprites so we need to make more sprites so we've got the two there um, I was thinking of making the other sprites. Hang on, let's find that. That uh, here we go. Let's try. Let's do another one. Um,
Let's put that one in. Right, so new sprite. Uh, what's this one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. By one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right, thirteen by ten, and we'll call this red bug. Right, let's plonk that in. So this should be an exact dimension match. So miss two, hit red. Interesting placing for the first plots. Yeah. So uh, one, two, there. Then three, 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 four, three. Of course, it's a lot easier doing it this way than doing it by hand. Three, one. Right. Two, three. Two in one more way to the end. Right, blue, 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 blue. Right, so blue, two more, one, two. Dot, miss one dot. That's them. And then we've got white, blue, blue, white. Blue, right, where's the white? So, uh, and then, unk, unk. Oh, right, you only plot four pixels and it's just repeated. Ah, oh, okay. I'll, we'll, we'll have a look at it in, in a bit. Right, so that is... So we're going to resize this because I want to put a black border around it. So width is 15 by 12. And then shift it over. Shift it down. Oh, undo, 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 undo. Insert roll. There we go. Right, so that's that one. Red bug. Uh, let's do that one. Wasp. We'll call that wasp. Oh, uh, so that's roughly the same. Let's do the same. Let's see if it's. Oh, I've got to change the name. I forgot to change the name. Edit. Uh, can I change the name? Aha. Right, wasp. Yellow wasp. Lower left as. Aha. Thank you. There you go, mate. Oh, you're on level with me. And Proton, because he reminded me. And he's on. Right, okay, so that looks okay. Yellow Wasp, so here we go. Let's do this.
um, if you do uh, if you do exclamation mark AMK top ten, you'll see. Let's do it. <laughs> Look at Andy, all the way up there. Right, so um, so we're going to put blue there. Then one, two, three. So four. One, two, three, four. Put yellow. One, two, three, four. Yellow. And then blue again. One, two, three, four. Blue. Looks about right. So we do this. Uh, miss one blue blue three blues three blues out by one and again two blues two blues okay so we do the same on this side two three 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 two two Right, let's fill the ye yellows in. So we've got one, two, so three, then a line of yellow. Yellow, yellow, then another yellow. Miss two rows, and then another yellow. Right, red. And the stinger. So we'll resize this. The width is okay, but we need to up the height by two. There we go. So insert a row and then insert a column. That's it, it's in the middle. So yellow wash, so that's so we've got that one, that one, that one, and that one. Um What should we do now? Um, so, um, we'll, we'll do these two, and that will give, give us six. So I'm not too sure what that is. That looks like Enterprise. Not sure what that is. Yellow shit. We'll call it yellow shit. Keep it the same. <laughs> An ice cream. <laughs> right. Come here. So we'll start with the blues. So one, two, three, four, five down. Uh, right, so it's one, two, three, four, five down. Then move over. And move over. So that's three. One, four, one, two, three, and then one. Okay, so we'll do the yellow. All right, we need to add a row. So we'll bung one in there. Okay, resize. Right, yellow. So we've got two yellows further down. So yellow. Come on. Oh, yellow. Two. Another two, then one. All oh, right, okay. I wish I'd kept my old computers, I tell you. Right, so we should do then that, that, that. And that. Okay. 
Now we haven't got an orange, so we'll use red. So one, two, five. One, two, three, four, five. And it's three. Ooh, mouse. So one, two, then we've got there and there. That's it, then the rest is yellow, isn't it? So yellow to there. Someone's having fun on Minecraft. You've got an evoker head. <laughs> right, so we need to put a border around it. So we're going to in. That's it. And then the columns. Right, so that's that one. And last but not least is the scorpion. Oh, I see, I see. Oi, John, pay attention to chat. <laughs> Someone's after points. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh dear, someone's after points. <laughs> there you go. Oh, was you on 12 before? You was on 12 before, wasn't you? There's something wrong there. <laughs> Probably Andy Magic Knight messing around in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's done it now. Right, so we're doing the scorpion. So last one, and then we'll try and get him in the game. So, scorpion. Well, if it's 10 years old, might only last 16 or 32. Right. So we'll start with cyan. So if that's the top, so we'll miss a row and we'll go one, miss one. Then three, two, two, two. And then miss three, one, two, three, then two, 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 three, one, miss one. Right, so the reds is there and there, there and there. Now we haven't got orange, so we'll have to use yellow. So one, two, three, four, two more. And two more, and we need to add another another row. So then we go there, there, like that. So three, three. Right. So we need to add two more. And we'll put this in the center there and in the center there. Sorted.
Well, 64 should fit in a machine. Right. File. Save. Right. Export settings. So it still remembers our settings. Yep. Export to the Beeb. So we're doing that. Yes, please. Right. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six sprites. Right, so we need the info one. There we go. And we'll drag that over there so I can see it. So we've got 62. So we've called it the blue ship, but it's actually the blue bug, but in fact I'll change it and we'll change it up there so green ship blue buggies plus 62 um, red bug is plus uh, one OD um, yellow wasp is one six so yellow wasp is 16D yellow ship is um, 1C1 oh hang on so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and last one but lost knee at least is scorpion And that is plus 21C. Right. So we're going to. So that's blue bug. So what we're going to do is we. Alright. So what we're going to do is we're going to add the other ones. So. We're going to add the other ones, but we're going to put them at different levels. But we're still going to get them going across the screen until we figure out the mechanics for it. Yeah. So first one. Blue bug, red bug. Blue bug, red bug. Right, the red bug is 8, yeah, by 13 that'll do and so we are going to put that at 50 then the next one is red bug yellow wasp yellow wasp and the yellow wasp is 6 by C 6 by OC Cool, that was small. So we'll make that um, 60. Ooh. Oh, that's right. 60 is 1C an odd number. The height is only C. So it could, that's probably why it's an odd number. Well, we'll see. We'll see when it comes out. So yellow wasp, yellow ship. Yellow ship, and the yellow ship is 6 by D. 6 by D. And we'll put that at 70. And last but not least, 
Scorpion. And the Scorpion is 6 by D as well. And we'll put that at 80. Right, let's see if we get three three ships going back there. Well, the ship that going all backwards and forwards. There we go. Now it looks like I've got my uh, maths a bit wrong. Right, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Oh, I see. So, 60, 80, 90, A. Right, doesn't like the second one. Have I got the offset wrong? Red bug offset is one OD. It's definitely the red bug, isn't it? Blue bug, red bug. Um, let's see, eight by thirteen. That's right. Oh no, that's blue bug, red bug. Seven by C. Ah, seven by C. Right, let's try that again. There we go. So I don't need the gaps that big. 40, 50. 60, 70, 80. <laughs> oh, rusty here. Um, I don't think so, it, but Andy's, yeah, this, I mean, in this mode, we're taking 20k of the 32k ram up, but, um, it's, it's the interrupts, but we have, as you can see, we have sprites on the screen. I know that's flickering slightly. So if we give them different offsets, so we'll make this sprite be, be bang in the center. We'll make this one be um, one twenty. We'll make this one be uh, forty. Make this one be. Um, One hundred, and this one can be sixty. There we go.
So as you can see, we've, we're getting, we're getting closer and closer to the space invader, invader type game. So um, we're we're in the we're at the start of using the Space Invader type uh, game system. The problem is, you know, we could we could put. I mean, there's only eight sprites on the screen at the moment. I mean, it's slowing down pretty pretty a lot with just eight sprites on there um oh it's flashing because of the the raster I think because there's no I don't think there's I mean Andy was on about um, setting the black background background color to um, blue I just don't know how to do that So we could see where the raster was coming up to. Color zero, but how do I do that in? How do I do that in assembly? Oh, that's clever. Ink color zero. None of these do it in assembly. I don't know how to set background, mate. Not in assembly. fits in here.
Do we just poke that? Oh, what if we just do that? Oh, here we go. I'll I'll figure that out, mate. I'll figure that out. But like I say, we've got the st we've got the startings of you know um, a shooter. What do you want? Hey. What do you want? Hey. Go on out. Go on out. One. <laughs> um this and so I know we should we we can draw quicker. This 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 sprite macro this sprite routine does seem to take Yeah, it's looping here. Register, which is uh, his right only register, but there, uh, okay. Yeah, I'll have to have a look at that. The preferred method, I've, I, was, I saw that one. The low four bits of X should contain the actual color. As defined by the user guide. Yeah, I saw that. Another one to bookmark. Right. So we've got six, three, six on the screen with two more slots. Now we could put more slots in there if we wanted to, because the, the code that's here allows us, uh, how many, to go up to whatever we want. So the block size is ha the details of the sprite. So, you know, height width uh, what's happened to it whether it's been drawn or not and we have got eight of them so we could make it ten but it would slow down and what I was thinking of was trying to make the sprite smaller so we'd have a big boss like that one there at the top somewhere and then have smaller smaller ones because these are pretty pretty large these fellas are so I suppose we could um, knock them down but like I say we've got the beginnings of space invaders here we just need a control mechanism for more for all of them um, I mean 
That Kevin Edwards one. Where is it? Did I load it into there? No, I didn't. So this is the, the one I've just loaded in. I don't know. Ah, right. So as you can see, he's got one. There's a lot of sprites there and it's quick. So, I mean, how many sprites? Oh. I am rubbish. Have we got this pause button here somewhere? Well, that'll do. Right. So there's, there's one under here somewhere. One, two, three. So, four. Seven, eight, there's nine. No, it can't be. There ain't that many there, is there? There ain't that many sprites on the screen. Oh, I got through a level without shooting a bullet. <laughs> Two, four, six, eight. Right, so there's eight maximum on the screen because he's only got eight there. Eight. So there's eight enemy sprites and me. They are moving fast, but I don't think they're... Right. So if a professional can work with eight sprites, I'm sure I can work with eight sprites. He's not merging his overwriting. Let's go back. He's over he's he's just writing the sprites to the screen, you're saying. Can we slow this thing down? Yeah, that's what I was trying to do. I was trying to see if I could slow this thing down. Aha, speed. Uh, five frames a second, here we go. Oh, okay. <laughs> I've made it too, I've made it quick. 50. Oh, that's fast. There, that should be half speed. The 
There is oaring going on. There, like there, when they cross over, they are being oared. So they are, he is not merging. Oh, the hot. Just. So, so he's got eight sprites on the screen, but he's, he's putting them on the screen in a different manner as we're using this as we're using these uh, libraries to do it he's actually he's actually doing it he's got a, a dedicated routine to cover all eight sprite all, all the sprites on the screen in one go you're just looking at the color thing okay um as we're we're doing and, and also we're not following because he's because we're paint, put it in on in columns. We're we're painting in columns rather than bytes. So we so we're doing two. If the sprite has got two rows and it, it's doing two rows, then going back and then doing two rows, then going back. I mean, it could be done a lot, a lot um, quicker. But I'm going to have a look at his routine and try and understand it. But like I say, saying I saying I, I was not confident I'd get any sprites on the screen. I am pretty pretty pleased with that. I mean, okay, we've got a flicker. Yeah, he's just ex he's just ex ex oring. I mean, let me let me um show you. Let me put some extra functions in here. So um, let's find, let's do the um, in key. So if I've got A and D left and right, so P and L up and down, right? So we'll do P and L up and down. Right, control green. So we'll do this. Copy the whole thing, include in that, and stick it there. So P and L. Right, P is C8. So we're going to do Y and Y and then L is A9. What Y and Y. So um, 250. So we won't let it go beyond 200. And we'll stop it at 10. Right, so the ship should now go be able to go up and down. Let's have a look. Here we go. Okay, let's. I'll remove the OER, EOR. Let's remove the EOR. So it's that one. So if we run that out, so it's just basically getting the sprite and storing it. Here we go.
Yeah, I'm just looking at that now. I'm just wondering if the sprite... I'm just wondering if it's because it's, a, it's not a full bite. No, it's not. So we're going to have to in, in, include a blanking column there. So if we make that 14... Right. Let's do this one. See, that's the same. Make them... Um, oh, it doesn't matter about the rows. Right, do that one as well. Yeah, that's the same. So increase that by one. Don't know why it keeps putting them over there. Uh, yep, yeah, that needs to be boosted. And that one. And that one. Right, file save, export to B because the settings should be still the same. Right, so what we need to do is just make sure we need to redo our offsets. Oi, John, pay attention to chat. Right to FE21 to change the colour of the background. Okay. Okay. Let me just uh, make sure we've got our settings offsets right. So six, so that's still saying 62. One OD, one... So those are still the same. It's not... It's not exported. Right, for sprites to be plotted at any pixel line. Um, so even though we've put, even though we've put, it's blanked out, it's blanked out the, yeah, it's blanked out. So what it's do, what's, what it's done is like for this the scorpion right the scorpion is width of seven one two three four five six seven well that's right okay let's have a look where's the scorpion Oh, it's done it. So, seven wide. Okay. D. Seven. Seven. So, red bug is eight. Uh, what's that one? Blue is nine. Right. Now, because we've put a a border around it. There we go. Oh, poo. So we've got one done.
Didn't do ours. Render sprite. So it's not that one. I want to render sprites. Here we go. Loop one, that's there. So if I increase seventy FE twenty one, that should give us a color freight sprite. Yeah, I'm trying to set it to sprite number. Right, so the sprite is in X, the sprite number is in X. Right. But it's just coming out white. And now we don't see anything. So that no X X is is coming straight from that because they they doing the um, here so R five should be the sprite number. Yeah, R5 is a sprite number. Then they add in. Oh, hang on. That's not the sprite number, it can't be. Load sprite logic, comma X. It's got to be. It's got to be the sprite number. No, oh right, okay. I see what it's doing. That is not the sprite number, that is the index of the array. So we really don't know what the sprite number is. So, um, we're going to have to, um, am I using Y anywhere? Oh, I'm using Y when I render. Yeah. Yeah.
Well, it only calls render sprites. That's why I was looking to put it in here. Um, but what we can do is R6 and R7, look. So we can use R8. So if we do, if we initialize it, R8, yeah, and LDY R8 store Y F E21. And then down here where it loops back round. So here the skip, we can do that. We could just do ink R8. In fact. Yeah, so uh, ink R8, LDA R8. In fact, I'll do that. Right, that should do it. Yeah, that is flickering somewhat rotten that is yeah I mean this this library is a good starting point but I think I think we're going to have to um, figure our own sprite routine out, I think. Right, let me just sort these, that, because um, what's happening, it's not it's not clearing out and I think it's because of this one column here so um, ooh, let's put that EO back in So, so that's what, so that is one sprite, two sprites, three, four, five, yeah? Six, that one at the bottom. Hang on. Yeah, I'm resetting it to zero. So when it goes in, it should be black to start with. Yeah, each band is a sprite. So it should be black to start with. If it's waiting... So it stores it, so... Right. The fact, I mean, you, your, I bet your screen's going mental. Right, let me just click off somewhere there.
Let's slow this down. So he's definitely taking more than one raster because we're getting the green at the top here. I've got it on the slowest speed, yeah, I've got it on the slowest speed. So I think, I think we're going to have to, um, I think we're going to have to write our own sprite routine. Because Andy, I think you're right. Yeah. But it's 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 given now it's given me now the a better understanding of how we get these sprites on the screen. So I can start thinking about how we could um, get the sprite on the screen without having to do all that. Make it far simpler, because. If one of the let, all right, let me see if I can stop this right. Right. If each one of these bands is to take is taking up the time to draw a spr. <laughs> hey, microman. So if. If each one of these bands is just doing one sprite, then that means we're doing one, two, three, four, and on the fifth one we run out of raster. That's an awful lot of time. That's an awful lot of time just to draw a sprite. And the look, almost, I mean, this one here, I bet that's that white there. I bet this big one here is the white, the white band. And then we've got the cyan one, which will be this one. Purple one would be this one. Blue one would be this one. Yellow one would be that one. And then the green one, which comes on the next frame, is that one. So that is definitely, um, definitely. Right, let's, let's see what the original was like. Um, where are we, where are we? The demo one. Where's the demo one? There it is. See how that two sprites. Yeah. I mean, my sprite is up there somewhere. There it is. But look, it's still, it's still trying to do the other sprites. Even though there's nothing there. It should be just bypassing trying to do the other sprites. Look how much time it takes just, just to detect the keys. So if I go back to my ship. Right, let's see how much... Hey Andy. Right, so if I make it... Oh, look at the green. Oh, that's really bad. Hang on. Speed. 0.1. So it's taking two frames just to process these eight sprites. Right, because if I click off... There we go. That is the amount of time it's taken just to do handle that sprite and process the uh, controls for it. So there's six sprites there. One, so one, two, three, four, five, six. That's how many sprites we're processing. But that yellow is from the previous frame. So and I think that's why this is having an issue because that's 
that's a border of the frame, isn't it? And that's why that one is flickering when you do full speed. I mean, you don't see the fact that it's really going mental here. In fact, you have a better view of it, of the butt. So the green band is the green ship, the yellow band is the scorpion, the blue is this yellow ship, purple, that, cyan is that one, and then the black is the rest of the frame. So if, let's see if I can do it, catch it. Right, so that's frame one. That's frame one. And then, oops, and that's frame two. So it's taking two screen refreshes to draw these six sprites. <clears throat> Need some big <laughs> unroll loops, yeah. And that I think that's what Ke that's what Mr. Edwards, Kevin Edwards did. Right. That's what he did, Mr. E in that game that I sh that game I showed you. Let's uh, let's load it back in because in his sprite routine, which is here, that's what he's doing. He's so there's you know six sprites there, six there, and he's got each one of them. So graphic one, graphic twenty one. Graphic 2, Graphic 22. So he is... He is definitely... So this is unrolling, yeah? This is He's doing an unrolling here, isn't he? That's what, oh right, that's why they use four colours, yeah. Because you get four pixels per, per byte then. So this guy's definitely doing unrolling here. Because we've got one. Two. Yeah, so he's. They're the six. So he's got enough for 12 sprites. Or has he? Check in next row. That's twelve lines, yeah, not sprites, yeah. I was just I was just seeing that. So his sprites are twelve lines long. <laughs> but he's he's as we're looping through, he's not. So we we may need to do something similar to this. Where we send in the address of our sprite and then it does this on the also add one pixel left to remove the OAR oh, EORs you mean oh, all right okay yeah I mean I thought I left a pixel in mine which I did but I think I think the code that's we're running 
moves a character, not pixels. I think that's actually moving characters. Let's go back and have a look. Sprite. So. So it, what? Render sprites, okay. Da -da 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 logic. JSR draw, that's what we're looking for. Here, so width, stores it in R0. Height, X and Y. Where is he rendering the... Oh, here. Jump render sprite. Render sprite. So, get pixel address. Let's see how we find get pixel address. Must be in there. Must be in the macros then. No. Ah, here we go. So it's in the output, okay. All right, okay. Okay, so he is... Oh, that's moving the screen down. So X and Y are the coordinates. So Y was X. Transfer X into A. Um, calculate X times four. Is that actually moving one pixel? Is that actually moving one pixel? Let's find out. Oh, I forgot it flashed. Hang on, but I'm just looking at mine. Yeah, it is. It's just moving one pixel. Right, let's take that. Um, sprites, let's take that. Um, yeah, I'm just about to try and look for them. So render sprite, here we go. Let's take that, um, this out. Render sprite. So it gets the pixel address. Oh, 
<laughs> no worries, mate. Um, it definitely was moving a sprite, wasn't it? It definitely was moving a pixel. Let's slow it down. Get rid of that noise. Right. Right. No, it's moving a byte. It's moving two pixels. So if I put my put cursor there and just move one, yeah, it's moving a byte. So it's not actually moving pixels. That makes it even worse because if it had been logically shifting, then I would have forgiven it. But that is moving a byte, two pixel movements. Right, I think we need to write our own routine. I think we need to write our own routine. Okay. We need to understand how this pixel routine works as well. So X and Y are coordinates, SL, SH are the screen position, and A is the position of the pixel in byte. Oh, it's a macro. A, it, um, a, D, C, I is a macro. I think that's add immediate. Right, so resetting SH. Um, transfer Y into A. And it with 7. Store it in SL for the screen. Okay. Calculate y equals y divided by 8 times 2. Yeah. So this is where it's working out the screen position. So we've got a table. So it's working out the, the y. Right, so um, calculate y equals y divided by 8. So that's divided by 8 times by times by 2. I was going to say, y divided by 8 times 2 is just y divided by 4. Right, I don't think we can do anything with that. So it's all in here. It's all in this render sprite. I think that's where we're going to have to... Um... So it puts it, puts it in SH. Ah, oh, we're using SH here. Okay. R2 and 3 is the address of the sprite. Copy of the screen dress pointer. Oh, right, R7 and R, okay. Yeah. Looks like this is what we're going to have to change. So I think, um, I think that's what we can do in the next stream. I think now we understand how 
Now we understand how the mechanics work of the sprite of this library. Even though it's slow, it's taught us an awful lot. You know, it's taught us an awful lot. We've got it going left and right, up and down. But we need to we need to make it more efficient. I think one of the things we need to do is we need to standardize the Yes, yeah. And also standardize the size of the graphics. Make them all the same size. So the one routine will work on them work on them all. Add, yeah, let's add into the screen address for the next character. Yeah. So I think that's what we can do on the next next stream. Is to refine this this render and make it more. Also, we're gonna have to change our we're gonna have to change our graphics. Like we're gonna have to make that either make these the same size as that or make that smaller. I think I think we'd have to make these the same size as that because we want a big boss. Show code. There's a lot of things going on in here and I think it's because the sprites are different that he's trying to the person who wrote this is trying to um, cater for different types of sprites in the game, so different sizes. And the only problem with that is it makes it slow rather than quick. So I think we'll we'll get we'll we'll get something in the next stream. We'll work out a new routine to do it. But, it, like I say, it means all our sprites have to be the same size. Because we'll fix it. And, and unroll it as well. Alright guys, well. I need to talk to Microman. And figure out how we're going to get this back into his GitHub. Without destroying his repository. Oh, he's still running. But, we've got. Something that we did in this program that was free called Beeb Spriter. Yeah, I know we'll have to change it a lot. Um, so we've got this program written back in 2010, I think it was, that handles creating of sprites. I'm writing a program to do BBC sprites as well. Um, but we'll, I'll show that off when I've got it working. Um, but we now understand how we've got this data in here. And how we, dis how we can get it displayed. But not by this method, which is trying to fit everything. All, I mean, it's good for beginners, but we need to make it quicker and so that'll be done in the next stream i think well thank you very much guys for joining me and hopefully we're getting somewhere now we're getting somewhere so as you can see i'm planning on a, sh a shooter game so uh, a space shooter so we're gonna get try and get a, some sort of decent game going all right then guys well thank you very much for joining and uh, yeah definitely a big step from last week <laughs> yes it was it was like pulling teeth last week but we'll get there how many bites is one sprite uh, a few uh, this one's a few uh, let me just open it up 
So let's just find out. So it's 19 rows and it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's 19 times nine. That's a lot. That's a lot of bytes for that. Because in mode two, two pixels per byte. All right then guys, I will see you on the next stream where we are continuing our quest for Hunchback. Take care and I'll see you next time. Bye. I'd like to thank all the Patreons that are contributing to my channel. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing right now. Thank you very much.